All right, fuck it. Welcome yeah. back to the 85 South Show Lounge. Yeah. Backwoods yeah. Lounge. Backwoods backstage. We right got here. a ba- we got our own backstage. Man. I see them boys is famous. And I got my lovely co-host with me over here, Miss Bree Renee. Bree Renee, she's from the A in the building. And this is a different type of intro because T Pain is family at this point. It's always uh. fun, and he's always a, a great interview. And and now we just talking shit like first cousins. Absolutely, at this point, man. absolutely. The, first cousins that see each other a lot. Exactly. There man. are a lot of first cousins that don't really fuck with each other. And I can't <laughs> no, like, like, no, not like I'm on my like sister. Son. Right. You absolutely. Yeah. No, yeah. Like, they dress alike. They made us. They made us do sleepovers just so they can go out. Exactly. <laughs> they wanted to go but out. But man, I gotta talk about this first and foremost because you've been going up. On the social media with your Twitch uh, yeah. stream, yeah. with the T Pain podcast, Absolutely. and and those two together on top of the videos <laughs> and the music <laughs> and the behind the scenes and the TikTok, yeah, bro, your presence is very strong, man. What's I'm been your motivation to get back in front of the people like that? I think I've just <laughs> been I've been happier, you know what I mean? Like just coming through and really taking care of my business, you know, uh, with no manager, no you know, no label, and you know, getting distro through Empire, I can kind of do what I want now. All my Ideas are coming into fruition because I'm in charge of making that happen now. So right. just happier and just I'm okay. I don't cringe as much when I see myself on camera. You know what I mean? So it, do it's, you feel like growing into that space of like being independent and doing everything yourself? You feel like dang, I should have been doing this or being with the label. All of that was necessary. All that was necessary. It was the right time because if I would have just done it myself, I wouldn't have known what to do. You know, none of this really came about until I got. To the point to where I was like, hey, tell me what you do for me. <laughs> tell me what your job description is. And the people that couldn't, you know, do that, if you don't know what you do, what the hell are you doing here? I don't I don't need you then. You know what I mean? Like I can I can figure it out. I mean, I might get less work done with, with less manpower, but I'll be much happier and I'll get more money because I ain't got to pay you now. So this is this is it's dead weight. <laughs> yeah. It's dead weight. <laughs> exactly. Now I have noticed that you have been like on your on your uh, live joint, yeah, and um, you've been showing a lot of the verses and, and songs that you threw away. Yeah, what yeah. made you get into that bag, bro? Um, it didn't it didn't affect anything. Like you know, a lot of people get online and they like don't show nobody yourself recording or don't show them no old songs. They're gonna leak it and then and it's like, but yeah, but it's been sitting there for seven years. Right. It, it'll do better leaked somewhere than just sitting on my hard drive and nobody ever hearing it. So once I started showing people online. And then nothing changed. Like, oh, oh, I can just do this all the time. I got hundreds and hundreds of songs that I can just be showing people. And you, you be know. bullshitting too, though, because you would set it up all like, I hated this song. I'm glad this shit never came I out. Did. And then you would play this shit. I'm like, this shit is fucking hard. Yeah, man. they should have put this out. You be I, I, do, I do that, and then I realize I was the only one that thought that. <laughs> You should drop a project of like all the forgotten songs. I did, I did. I dropped two two volumes of it. It was called Everything Must Go. I dropped okay. at volume one and volume two, and they still it's still a lot more that can get dropped. But again, we put it out. The songs were as ass as they were back then. <laughs> People didn't gravitate towards them, so you know it, nothing changed. I put hey them man, out. And nothing changed. But you be you be a little bit too hard on yourself, bro. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. you, I feel like. I can't say that personally. I don't know, but I know that you critique yourself hard as fuck. Yeah. And sometimes you just have to let shit just be great the way it is. I think I critique myself because I I get to see the other team's playbook. I get to I I look at my own stuff like I'm a hater or like I'm looking for something to say on my own post. Like even when I look at my post, I look at can anybody see anything in the background? Was my hands ashy? Who can like what can somebody say? I look at it myself first <laughs> as a hater. Why do you think you do that? Because they're going to do that, and I need to not give them fuel for the fire. <laughs> so yeah. I think I look at it in that way to just make myself better and just kind of keep away from the comments and stuff like that. And once I do look at them, if somebody does say something, I know it's a reach because, like, I kind of checked all the boxes, my nigga. Like, damn, you still found something? <laughs> I don't like I don't like it. You need to give your cat a haircut. Like, bro, just... My cat was in the background of the video for two seconds. You couldn't find nothing else to say in this video. It's, it's, it was, I think I look at stuff like that as I hate it first because yeah. it just kind of helps ease my mind. <laughs> really kills the cringe afterwards, too. So well, it helps out. I got to talk about this because I know you might not know, but T Pain is a fellow car lover also. I am. I am. And around I am. this time last year, he <laughs> had to get in somebody's ass. 
for wrecking his race car. Yeah. This man literally borrowed T Pain's race car and went on a full high speed chase for a TV show, smashed yeah. the car all up, yeah. and just was like, T Pain, I wrecked your car. Send me some money, I'll fix it. <laughs> he said, he was nice. He sent him the money like two or three times. Dude, fuck the money up. I want T-Pain, my car I'm back. Like, Bro, just give me back my car. I won't tell nobody that you're a fucking loser if you just give me back my car. I he was like, T-Pain, I feel so bad. Just let me fix it, please. <laughs> nice guy this guy is. Like, I'll give you one more chance. I'm but, a good person. Because yeah. I know how many times. I done fucked up. Okay. I know how many times. You're like, I'm going to give you grace. I know, right. I know how many times. I done fucked up. If my wife wouldn't give me as many chances as she has, would, <laughs> I would have been over a long time ago. Some of my friends, I've been a shit friend a lot of times, but it's always just that, man, I'm sorry, man. That has, I have done some fucked up shit. Once people grow up and start to realize that, and you give them that one more chance, and then yeah. they are a changed person forever because they know they're not going to get that many chances out of a lot of people. That's now I was just catching them up on the story because you, you posted a video recently of you and your new race car, mm-hmm. and you look so happy. You dropped a song. He got a new one. He got a new one. He, it's new and what improved. What kind of race car is <laughs> He talking big shit. Yeah. He's, he doing donuts now. Hey, man. Drop I'm, the song. I'm better now. I'm better now. I got better people around me. I, I, you know, I know how to recognize better people now. I think I... But men are really, like, particular about their cars. Right. Yeah. Like, can you explain that as a woman? Like, I think we we like nice cars for a nice car, but... You like for, for most, men to have nice cars. Y'all, y'all, you give a damn yeah, about like nice cars. I, I do. I do have an... I like to have a nice car myself, our, our, but I don't care about cars. Like, men care. Like, what is cars, the attachment? Our cars are y'all's shoes. Okay. <laughs> or Best way to put it. <laughs> is it bags and shoes and yeah, cars and yeah, rims I'm, and I'm, shit? Absolutely. Okay. That makes absolutely. That's now, I perfect. wanted to ask you about the new single. You seem you're keeping it lighthearted, having a lot of fun. We're just having fun. I Baby wouldn't even got call brap. it a single. I wouldn't even call it a single. Baby Got Brap is just us having fun. It started as a joke. It was a joke we were doing. We were trying to come up with merch ideas. And I had just bought an RX-7. You know, it's got the rotary engine. So I was like, I need, a, I need a shirt that say Baby Got Brap. And then Hurt, you know, my partner on the company, was like, that'll be a dope-ass song. So I was like, yeah, come on down, do a verse. He's like, I'm not a rapper. I was like, hey, man, people say I'm not either. Might as well. <laughs> Let's go try it out together. So we we just recorded the song, and it ended up being a cool song, especially for the car community. So yeah. we just released We're just having fun, man. We're doing what, whatever we want to. And, you know, people think we're still trying to make chart-topping records. I done did that shit. I said, oh, don't nothing change, but prices, those prices go back down until you do another one. Uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's a popularity contest that I am not trying to enter into anymore. I'm fine. Really? I'm I good, like man. that you say that you're at that point in your career as an artist, though, because I think yeah. that takes maturity. When you first get in the game, you're trying to get you a hit. You're trying to make it to, you know, yeah. there's so many milestones that you want to hit. But, like, when did you make it to that point where you was like, man, I'm just having fun with it? It's just. When I found out that I can do other stuff. You know what I mean? A lot of people chase that feeling. They chase them number ones and they chase that top spot because that's all they can do. That's all they got. They they don't have anything to go have fun. You can go rent a Lamborghini in, in Italy, but you know, you gotta take that back. <laughs> you know what I mean? But if you start building cars on the side and you really paying attention to how things work and you start getting other hobbies, or even if you already had hobbies, which is the case with me, because I've always had these hobbies. I've always been a gamer, I've always been a car guy, I've always built cars. But my managers never wanted anybody to see that because it was deemed uncool for somebody at the top of the charts to be doing regular white dude shit. You know what I mean? So (laughs) I've always had these things. And once I start showing that part of me, then people start gravitating more towards me and saying that T-Pain is just one of us. T-Pain is just a guy. And that's all I wanted to be. I didn't want to be the special guy. You know, again, I was signed as a writer to Convict Music. So I was never supposed to be in the foreground. I was never supposed to be in front of the camera. So... Once all that started happening, I kind of had to get rid of, you know, the other things I did in my life. And now that I can express that and still be accepted, I'm yeah. good. I'm, that's, you know, being number one at one thing is like. I think that's a, a, a gem, like a jewel, though, that you just dropped. Because a lot of artists don't take in time to pay attention to, like, what other things they good at. Because, like, yeah. you and Los. Both have done that with, like, y'all passion for cars. For sure. But I'm sure there's a lot of other artists that got, you know, different passions that you can monetize. Yeah. Build but like you said, they had that space where they're scared to even let people know, hey. Exactly. I draw horses. Yeah. yeah. I'm it's not an artist, people, right. but I have a thing for drawing horses. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm pretty good at it. Yeah. That and takes yeah. a lot of comfort to let people know what you really like. Absolutely. Yeah, Unless you're a woman. Women can do that because it's empowering. 
we can do more than this, we can do that. And but you, you're, you're a man. It's like, bro, get back in the studio, my nigga. Lame <laughs> as shit. Get that everybody out there. Getting your forces dirty with them horses and shit. You need to be out there in the goddamn studio. It's just, yeah. we don't, yeah, you know, we can't do anything. We do what people know we good at, and then that's what we just leave it at. But, you know, once you go deep into your mind and deep into your thought, deep into just yourself, take care of yourself, and the money going to come. The money will come from everything. And we all know the phrase, find something you love, find something that you love and that you'll do for free, and go get paid for it. Yeah. Now, you remember the last time we was talking, and I asked you about this T-Pain and Top Hat T-Pain. Yeah. And then you see the internet went back and was like, Los might be on to something. Yeah. That nigga Top Hat T-Pain yeah. was in a whole nother world. Now, you know, it's the fall. Will Top Hat T-Pain be popping out for the for the fall, winter, Christmas? It, 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 it is Top Hat T-Pain. Season. It's Top Hat T-Pain season. And the person I am now is Top Hat T-Pain. Again, just in different attire. <laughs> I can wear shit on planes now. <laughs> I can I can come out dressed like this, you know, my 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 Bill Gates shit, my rich white, you know what I'm saying, my rich white attire, and I think yeah. I think this will be fine. But the feeling that I had back then is back. You know what I mean? The happiness, the fun that I had doing music, not trying to, you know, make uh, chart toppers or anything like that. That's back. So it is top hat, t paint on the inside. Regular white dude on on the outside. <laughs> you got anything? Any more animated stuff coming out? I'd, we we are working on some more animated stuff. We trying to we trying to get the Freak Nick the musical part two together. We're getting that together. A lot of people have been asking for that. So just the a general thing. We having a a, a Wisconsin University cartoon coming. Yeah, that's dope. So yeah, you know all which I would love you guys to be involved with. I would. We would love to. Definitely yeah, because it's be very involved. it's they're both very black. So yeah, because <laughs> the Wisconsin the tour yeah was going crazy. That's about to happen again in uh in in June. You know, so get ready for that. Yeah. Uh, we're going back to Wisconsin. The name of the tour is Back to Wisconsin. Third installment of the tour. So, yeah, we, we ending it off with the Wisconsin Fest. Would love to have you again. Would love to have you guys. I'll be, be there. Back. Now, there now that it's official and you're going to have, like, set dates, I can plan we on got being it. there. We got it. I'm going I'm going to text you this time. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you got anything else, babe? No, I mean, just keep killing it. You've been doing amazing. I've been a fan. My my family owns a strip club, so there you go. When That's what we talking about. I'm in about. love with a stripper came out. That was family monumental ties right there for me at the Blue Flame Lounge. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Family ties, baby. Yeah. So Sometimes thank you for that's all one you've of our songs that we sing together. Yeah. Well, that's you know, good. like as a couple, when you in a car. And you, you, you and your lady got that right. one that, that we could both sing. sing. Yeah. It's gonna be all. It's gonna be all first dance song. That's what it is. No, we just, that, that's, know, we just always but you know sing what? Because, because my family owns a strip club, when I get married, I do want them to throw money on me, like at the, like as an African <laughs> they tradition. Gotta, they gotta do. So they the, can throw it to. I'm in love with a stripper. Even if they though, do it in the rose, they make a, a bouquet out of it. You can do the bouquet. Yeah. With the, with the single dog. Yeah. You know. <laughs> we we do love and we enjoy singing your songs as a couple. We what's, do. What's I your favorite T Pain song to sing? It definitely is. I'm in love with a stripper. That's probably my top one. But you know what's that's gonna be the one. You know what's my other one? What's the other one? Cut it, buddy, with Mike Jones. Oh yeah, mm. you can be my cut. That is our shit. Wow, that is our shit. <laughs> that's deep. Yeah, that's yeah, deep. Play, one. Cause that's really one of the riding the old school songs. Yeah. You know, it's gotta it's, be, gotta be drop top. Sunday, drop top. I was about to say Sunday drop top. Very nice. That's a good choice. Yeah, yeah. good choice. But we appreciate okay, you stopping through the 85 South Backwoods Lounge, man. We gonna make sure you grab some merch or yeah. something. This is nice. This is all very nice. Bro, we taking this show on the road. One man. day, man, I'm gonna be up there with y'all one day. Yeah. I'm going to have a have a little shack right next to y'all, huh? Any, what, anything you got coming up next or, or coming out soon that we um, need to be on the lookout for? I'm just dropping songs, man, dropping songs. The the podcast is coming 24 back. 24 hour live stream. 24 hour live stream at some point. If I can if I can keep enough white claws on deck, I'm there. No, I saw I mentioned it in the comments. So it's going to happen. I'll be on there. Thank you, man. I'll You'll be, be saying there. shit, but you be on there. Because I don't want to. Get to arguing and back. Uh, yeah, hey, okay. Let's get your ass. You can't type fast line. enough to argue on that. <laughs> I just have to sit back and lurk, you know. <laughs> I love it. I appreciate it, man. Let's get it. 85 South Show, man. Hey, T Pain. Yeah. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Whether or not your family gives you gifts during the holidays, you get to define how you give to yourself. And the holidays are a great time to do that. Taking care of yourself is the pathway to fulfillment and to high performance in work and in life. And just as importantly, it's a gift to others. 
So whether it's by starting therapy, going easier on yourself during tough moments, going fishing, or just treating yourself to a day of complete rest, remember to give yourself some love this holiday season. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash 85 Lounge today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash 85 Lounge. J-O-N. I said bluechew.com and go get you some because you can make love to your late day. You got to do this move when you're doing <laughs> to your late day. What's up, fellas? It's that time of year again with the holiday season approaching. You want to make sure that you get the present that you really want. I mean the one that really matters. The gift that keeps on giving. That's right. Blue Chew can increase your performance and give you extra confidence in the bedroom. That's right. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll get your prescription within days. BlueChew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Just chew it and do it. And we got a special deal for our listeners. Try BlueChew for free when you use our promo code 85LOUNGE. If you don't know how to spell lounge, that's L-O-U-N-G-E, at the checkout. You got to use the promo code at the checkout. Then they're going to give you the little code thing, and then you just pay $5 shipping. That's it. That's BlueChew.com, promo code 85 lounge to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we would like to thank BlueChew for sponsoring the podcast. 